40 part motet is an audio installation that consists of 40 speakers and out of every single speaker is a singer's voice. So it's a virtual choir singing a piece of music from the mid-1500s by Thomas Tallis called Spaminalia. I was attracted to the piece of music because of the complexity of it, being 40 different harmonies, the emotional beauty of it. I saw it as a sculpture, so that when you walk into the space, the sound is so three-dimensional for you that it's like walking into a piece of music. The composition is composed of eight different choirs. And you'll see speakers grouped together, and each choir grouping is bass, baritone, alto, tenor, and soprano. People might hear a sound and a voice coming from their right, and then they'll hear the music move over to the left, and then back and forth. And sometimes they imagine it's almost like ripples in a river, how the sound moves. I did the recording with the Salisbury Cathedral Choir. Everybody was miked. At one point, one of the little girls had to go to the washroom, so I said to the sound recording guy, just keep, keep rolling. And so you had all these people talking about the weather and clearing their throats, and very basic human stuff. And I realized afterwards that this little bit of intermission was so important because it made the people into real people. So if you can really give it your best shot, you work very hard. Then you hear the breath collectively of these 40 different singers going, <gasps> spam. Then their voices become almost angelic. I've listened to 40 part motet a number of times in different parts of the world. It's a very simple piece. If you just look at 40 speakers standing in an oval, but if you listen to the music, the way that it constantly changes your perception of it, the complexity of it is mind-boggling. Janet Cardiff is one of those artists you cannot identify as a sound artist or a visual artist. She's just an artist working with those media and deeply interested in the way that voices and narratives can affect you emotionally. My partner, George Bruce Miller, and I have worked together for a long time. A lot of our works deal with ideas of sculptural sound, but also ideas of intimacy and ideas of narrative. We did another piece in a forest where we had 24 speakers on the trees. So we mixed a whole filmic soundtrack with a choir walking through the forest, planes going overhead, trees falling, so that you never knew as a viewer when you're sitting there what's real. Exhibiting sound as sculpture is something that you haven't really seen very often in museums. Recently, it's become much more common. In part, I think, is due to the success of artists like Jenna Cardiff. The 40-part motet is shown through so many different countries all over the world, almost 50 different times. It showed in New York at PS1 two weeks after 9-11, and we didn't realize that it would have such a potent effect. And the room that was installed in was very similar to the room here. And people just stood and listened to the music and looked at the city. And they just wept. It was really amazing. People need this emotional release. They need to have this ability to be in the moment and to feel the sense of uh, presence and spirituality that music like this brings to them.
last bar and the first bar. And then that, that first one on yeah. the last page. We always get that right. We'll get it right.